Hello everybody, welcome to game number 8 of One Game From Jim. It's six one zero now after that draw versus Wood Elves, which was okay, wasn't it? Oh, this is Leet, so it's probably going to be a loss. Yep, he's 8-0. Oh. I'm not going to play it this time anymore, you know. <laughs> I'm just not going to play it this time. I'm going to go back to playing Americans that do better when they're AFK. <laughs> I'm already hating playing competent opponents. <laughs> no adversity for me, thank you very much. No thank you. No adversity. Let's ban adversity on this channel and only have Americans who do better when they're AFK. I mean, there's just nothing to this team. This is fucked. This is so fucked. And he's the one getting inducements. I feel like I should get a wizard. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. That's that's what I hit. The critics of the DACA just like you know see a, a two plus that fails, and they're like, "Oh, look, they failed because the DACA is shit." And then, as Sindane said, I think acting like a normal offense doesn't fail with the critical snakes is not accurate. And that's the thing, isn't it? You know, like you can you can play properly and just roll the critical snakes and fucking lose as elves. So like the Dakar, uh... God, I'll, I'll just kick so I at least get to defend with eleven. Maybe I should have received to try and get a draw, I guess. But they're better on defense than offense, aren't they? So if I, if I kick, maybe I can stop. That's my idiotic thought. My idiotic thought process there. Yeah, how that means it's crazy how much easier it is, isn't it, later? It's crazy how much easier it is late at night. Yeah, well that was the idea, I mean, yeah, of course, there's Claw Mighty, you know. If somehow like this has got the most chance of winning, I think. But also the most chance of losing. Whereas I think the other one is more... Because like, you can play riskier, can't you? You can play riskier, that's the thing. Because it's kind of stupid, because obviously people always say things like that, and it's like, well, if you're kicking, it's just like they were kicking. <laughs> but <laughs> if you're the one that wants to win... So, like, you've got to correctly identify who's the one that wants to win, and maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just be trying to play for the draw. But I think my best chance is to get lucky and win rather than try to just take a kind of easy draw. Well, not easy, but, you know, like a more reliable draw. I think the reliable draw isn't reliable. That's the thing. Like, if it was a mirror, then I'd probably just receive and try and get the draw. But I feel like I'm so outgunned that I've got to try and get lucky. Which means kick. Which is maybe wrong. So I'm, I'm doing it because I'm the underdog. Rather than the overdog. Whereas normally I'd rather do it if I was the overdog. I'd still want to kick. Didn't beat him I'm all in now. <laughs> I'm not going to concede them. I've been quite good recently.
Come on, survived all the mighty blows. There wasn't that many, many mighty blows actually, was there? No guard at all does make it tricky to get these 2Ds with the uh, claw, however. <laughs> Whoa, my <I'm a> friend! <laughs> <laughs> it is official. <laughs> Dimmy and I are warhammer friends. <laughs> Woo! Obvious blitz here, isn't it? Can you tell what it is? Can you tell what it is yet? Oh, you can't do that anymore, can you? Now that he's been cancelled. The obvious blitz. This isn't a bad blitz because you can blitz him there and then put him into another mighty blow here. But I think the obvious blitz is he comes up here, blitzes him, which then gets him out of the way of the, of the tackle zone of the uh, mighty blow tomb guardian. And you get hit better scanning to than going this way. But this is okay, I think, hitting this way as well. It gets him. But he's just going to get up anyway. Me. As this gives him the punch back into there, we've gone there. It was a bit crap. Maybe I shouldn't have moved him in the, uh, and then moved him later, and I just made a big wall here. It's only a bit better to them. It is Lee who's eight and all, and there's no guard to be able to hit the flesh, the toomies. So can't hit the toomies at all with the claw mighties, which is less than ideal. There was a one-one draw in the end, which was which was pretty good, wasn't it? All things considered. All things considered, one-one there was pretty pretty flipping good. Yeah, man, kids, there is there is a realistic chance. Um, <laughs> giving fifty gift subs. Um, that uh, <laughs> you know that that works. Uh, two thousand, what two hundred thousand bits? That works. Uh, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those are two great routes. Oh, Sledger resubbed uh, while I was away. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for 19 glorious months. Yeah, there is a sheet. Um, there's probably more chance. Uh, there's probably more chance in like a few months' time when 2K22 comes out. Um, you're basically already in, Tibum. <laughs> you're almost already in. <laughs> <laughs> there's Moridam. There could be a Tibum. There could, there could be a Tibum later, I guess. They could have a, a goblin tag team or, or, or add Tibum to the to the cock and ball torture uh, thing. Um, I don't know. I was going to do them Wednesdays, wasn't I? I was going to do them Wednesdays, but didn't. Um, Oh yeah, the Mankey's meat throttle is obviously the uh, is, is an obvious great finish. You see, it's so, like things like that. So like, there's a so basically having like a cooler tire that's easy to make and stuff. Like being easy to make increases your chances a lot. Giving me money increases your chances a lot. But like most, it's I guess it's like the instructions and being easy to make are like oh, some of the bigger things. Because like obviously it's hard to make somebody without good instructions. And some people gave shit instructions, which made them hard to make. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Noalis has not got his yet, no ice brewer. But you know, it certainly increased his chances a lot. <laughs> but like, you know, <laughs> like looking at the sheet, you know, if you look at the sheet here, I'll give you an example, right? Somebody who never got made because he was a dickhead. Um. This guy turned up on the stream, and he was like, he just asked for dumb shit. Oh, maybe I've already deleted him. I think I just deleted him. No, I can't use the example because I just fucking deleted him, because it was just stupid what he wrote. That's a shame. Like, there's been a few people who've, like, asked for things that were similar to somebody who's already there, so, like, you know, can't really make them. I mean, I guess could do, like, in certain cases, like, obviously, like, with Tibum and, and, and Moradan, that might work and stuff. But some were, like... Some were, like, uh... And some were just uninspired, that were just like, you know, it was hard. It was hard to do. And it's hard to do when they were like, you know, shit. The shit instructions. The shit instructions ones were the worst. Ah, what have I done here? Maybe it's a complete turn. GFI there, and then like blitz him and that. Nah, I don't think it's worth it.
I mean, I could, but I'd have to stand this guy up in the middle, wouldn't I? And then come in there, and I just don't know, I just didn't think it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Getting in the way, like just standing in the way versus uh, Camry's. There's a lot to be said for it, just because they're so slow and shit. I wouldn't mind trying to crack like the end one, just so there's less engagement afterwards. And this there wouldn't be that much, it would just be like, you know, you'd have to cancel the assist and then come in. So yeah, you'd, have, you'd have to stand this guy up. And then you could blitz and follow, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be that bad, I guess, if you power him, it's pretty good. But then I guess your claw mate is getting hit back by him unless you stun him. Yeah, exactly, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd rather he came in. Try to force the issue and give up easy hits than me try to manufacture, you know, hits. Now it looks like his his guard's gonna be a little bit more exposed, doesn't it? I might be able to actually Do something here, maybe. <laughs> Dimmy, you dickhead. All right, maybe he can't hit the guard, but can hit this guy. Can definitely hit this block guy. could hit him and then hit him and then hit the ball. That's an interesting thing, isn't it? It'd have to be a 1D though. A 1D for a push. And then another 1D for a push. And then he comes in the top, he comes in the bottom. Or I just claw my E him. Nah, it's a shame that's where the guard is, because obviously just cancelling him and 2 ding it'd be, it'd be pretty much automatic, I think. If I, if I just 1-D him and push him, then I get a 2 ding him afterwards if I've used the reroll. I think this is relatively... Relatively okay? Artemis would lose lose his shit, I guess. A blockless 1D! What the fuck did you do that for, you fucking idiot? For no reason! What a moron! But, it was a 1 in 9, wasn't it? But it would have been so good just to have got the push. And even, like, on the reroll, just getting the push, then can just play properly again. But, I mean, that was a real big chance to just help get the ball loose. And maybe turn him over and win, I think. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Because now he just definitely scores. <laughs> now he bangs out the whole team and scores. But it was 1 in 9, wasn't it? 1 in 9, there was a chance. Like, it was, the only thing that was bad was one in nining it, because if, if, if this is the push, then failing that block, like, if this was an instant three plus, then I would have made that, and failing that one isn't so bad, and it was only failing the first one that was really terrible. Might still be a little bit in, in, in the way of that, okay. Obviously the worst thing was not sending him up. 
Let's see what we can do with it. Yeah, maybe Super G, yeah, maybe. Like, I didn't know. I didn't want to think about it too long. So yeah, maybe just blunting the drive with the claw mighty hit was, was, was all right. Content though, innit, if the 1D works. I was thinking about G finding him, but I'm not, I'm just gonna duck this guy over. Double G find to get hit by Mighty Blow, what a play. Yeah, no, I probably, I probably shouldn't have got too cute there, should I? If, if that had been all right, play on turn three or something, but not on turn six. Yeah, I should have. It was turn five. It was all right. It wasn't that bad. This is still kind of tricky for him, really, because he's still got to protect the ball. And that's just how shit Kemri are, isn't it? <laughs> that's like actually how shit Kemri are. But it's still not actually gone, and that did give us the chance of the counter score. Luckily, Kemri are so monumentally bad. <laughs> this isn't over yet. Nice non AV break. Geofine, is it? With no lateral movement available. Yeah, dickhead. 
Man. Now he's actually got the lateral play, hasn't he? I could uphill him and then stand him up, blitz him, and then come round. And then come round with him as well. I think I have to just get in the way with these two. That's, uh, that's a given. Yeah, it's 1D with him, it's the same as a dodge, isn't it? Boom, full shit house. At least I took those double sixes from it this time. <laughs> that ain't a chance, isn't there? Because now it's just clear and handoff, isn't it? I mean, he might not make pals on the other blocks and stuff. And I guess it's not that easy to hit him, even. No, I mean, if this was a push, he'd have been, it'd have been a lot harder. There's my Michael Owen like analysis for you. <laughs> Blitz with this guy, maybe? I think maybe this guy GFI blitzes. Oh, he can GFI blitz with him, okay. That's nah, pretty easy still. Not against me, they don't, Rainer. Not against me. The 2 4 to score. Misclick there would have been glorious. It's so annoying as well because he only got this guy because he did the fucking 1D pal. He shouldn't have even had this guy down as an option. And then this this would have been obviously stronger. Maybe I shouldn't have based him, maybe I should like put the guy here so that he wouldn't have had an assist for him straight away. Oh, okay, now there's a chance. No, of course not. Now the double six. Wow, the BM. The BM score. GG. Fuck you. Why didn't I have a beard? I deserved a beard. <sighs> That's just fucking horrible, isn't it? <sighs> like, needed one back. 
least. There was a good chance of getting two back and then being on full as well. I mean, this team's like eight and awesome. Can't remember what it was, but it was it was pretty, it was pretty fucking good. I'm really about happy how I played the game. No. Seeing he's decent at the Blood Bowl just makes me think of PC and his Chunter voice that's exactly the same as his K-Fog voice. <laughs> if anyone's noticed, it must just be his generic European voice. <laughs> I think I failed them all again. No, one back. Fuck me. One out of six. That is annoying. I mean, that is really annoying. Like, okay, I could have taken cars and stuff. But fuck off, man. One out of six. <laughs> <J5. laughs> Probably not registered on the biomech. <laughs> oh my Oh my fucking god. The biometrics is a great fucking is a great fucking meme from J5. Holy shit. Holy shit. Fucking Blood Bowl 3 Discord was a was a gold mine the last few days. I guess I've just got to... <laughs> Make the game as close to TT as possible and J5 says find a way to pump the smell of a 400 pound dude that hasn't showered in six months out through your computer fan. <laughs> God. <laughs> and by the way, of course, I fucking exposed this guy to the Blitz because I, I desperately have to take out this Tomb Guardian so he gets a Blitz and he gets to fucking smash this guy probably or whatever. Just completely fuck me anyway with four Tomb Guardians. Ugh, yuck. I mean, just fucked, isn't it? I hate Camry. They're so shit, but also, they've got fucking four strength five and it's hard to deal with, isn't it, for shitty bash teams. Like, I literally can't believe that I had him protected from the Blitz and then I moved him thinking, well, this dude's fucking exposed his Brock Tomb Guardian. 
until he gets stunned. <laughs> Just fuck up. <laughs> Just imagine not getting fucked up, Blood Bowl. It's just stupid. It's stupid how consistently shit it is. Frighteningly consistent. Absolute fucking joke. Can like free up one dude and he can't even do anything. Just fuck me. I mean, like, okay, these happen. It doesn't help getting diced against somebody who knows how to play as well, but it's fucking annoying, nevertheless. No, I needed a pal, motherfucker. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, brilliant. I mean, I might as well concede now. It's just saving time, isn't it? What a shit two spins to get. Absolute garbage two spins. I think I'll just play it at mi after midnight. Only play post midnight. Versus people who do better when they're AFK. Well, that is not a good start for Team England in the CNA. A 2 1 loss. For misspelled trades, but to be fair, I think that's our only matchup that isn't favourable. I think uh, I think we are marginal favourites in all the other games. So I think misspelled trees fought chaos dwarves every single fucking round. Sure feels like that. I just need one guy to be standing. Give us a chance here. I just realised that he's overcommitted like a fucking fool as well. Don't know how you smell the Dio win, Tom Schnitz. Unless the Dio win is losing 3 0. <laughs> oh, hey, you plant this GFI, right? There's a chance. You can't re roll this. That's insane to re roll. Yep. Right, there's actually a fully good chance. There's a literal fully good chance here. This is brilliant. This is terrible play from him. Garbage. He should be. He should. He should feel fucking terrible, honestly. I hope he feels like a complete fool. <laughs> Lee, if you're watching this, you're a complete fucking fool. <laughs> oh, he's alright. I didn't... Being a fool and being lovely are, are not uh, are not connected in any way. But how can you do this? I've got nobody standing, look. Like, how many players did I have standing? I'm not really being mean, am I? It's just joke. Laughing for the stream, you know. Like, how can you leave this on, honestly? I'll just roll a one, honestly. I'll just roll a one. Obviously, just fucking instantly roll a one, by the way. But hey. And then fail the pass anyway. Brilliant. 
Oh! Not fail the pass anyway. <laughs> Clever Jim. I mean, but it, how could he leave it on though, honestly? Like, that was super easy. Like, it was with a reroll, it's, it's some twos and a three, a couple of threes and a twos. It was like, it was really bad to leave that on, honestly. It was genuinely really bad to leave it on. I've got a GFI again. He knows I was only joking. Anyway. If, he, if he watches it back. <laughs> Absolute fool. <laughs> oh, I mean, hopefully he knows I'm joking. <laughs> it was really bad the other day. I said something in Andy Davo's chat about Hellboy that I thought he would know I was joking. But also, somebody watching might not know I was joking. Because fucking Art the other day said something ridiculous. Obviously joking. And then somebody went and reported, like, you know, dobbed him in for saying it. And it's like, how couldn't you tell? I'm like, you know, because, <laughs> like, you could hear him. I can't remember. I just typed it, though, right? In the chat, you don't get the, you don't get the, uh, you don't get the intonation, do you, in just chat? So I just typed it in chat, and then I, as soon as I typed it, I was like, oh my god, it's in Andy Davo's chat, everyone's just going to think I'm just being a cunt, you know? But I genuinely was just being like, I'm sure if I had said it on my stream, Hellboy would have laughed, do you know what I mean? And then as soon as I did it, I was like, oh fuck. But like, Art literally was just screaming like how he does, in an obviously joking way, and then people still thought he was being serious. Crazy. Annoying doing the right thing there. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. I could stall it in the end zone. <laughs> like, I don't want him to base me, because then if he just bases me, I'm fucked anyway. <laughs> so... I've only got one reroll, so I can't even try hitting people here to get a hit on the Tomb Guardian. Like a 3D here with block, I guess. Good. Fumble Ruski in the end zone, yeah. Alright, two can play at that game. You toxic son of a bitch. <laughs> Snitches get cloaca stitches. Yeah. I mean, I'm always just taking the piss, like, in a funny way. I would never, like, I would, like, there's, I don't know, man. I just, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not fucking meaning anything bad to anybody. And I tend to do it to people who know that, but then I guess sometimes people don't know that. And I do tend to do it to people that don't know. <laughs> Which then causes problems. But I'm sure Lee wouldn't. I was just... I was just having a laugh. But it was genuinely not good, was it? Like, I've done it myself before. Hello, Stort. Two out of eight. It was enough, though, wasn't it? It was, it was enough, actually. That was pretty good, getting that one out of two. It was, it was totally fine there. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the thing with the fucking with the wrestling as well, right? When we did the whole evil Jim McMahon thing, people thought it was just real because we did it. We did it too well, and people just thought it was real <laughs> and thought I genuinely just wanted my wrestler to win all the time and stuff. <laughs> it was just too well done. Um, because, you know, we were like, we were trying to, you know, do a Vince McMahon kind of storyline of like making his guy win all the time, you know, and screwing over people and stuff. And so we were doing all that. And then people just thought it was just real. And I just, I just cared about my, uh, my little, my little digital representation. <laughs> no, you don't screw her, you little bastard. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, it was, but it was too good. It was too good. You had every chance to beat Rick, Skuro. I wanted you. I made you a hundred for that, you know. I made you a hundred for that fight. I fucking made you a hundred. And you couldn't get the job done, you son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um... Probably not stealing, no, but at least, hopefully, you know, at least scored and there's a chance of a draw. Um, and hello, Stor. Hey! Oh, now I wish I'd done the, uh, now I wish I'd done the, uh, the, uh, side thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Skuro, yeah. It's worked with some people. To be fair, it's worked with some people. Fucking Demon, Demon Rick was a disaster, wasn't it? <laughs> he was fucking terrible. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't need the why will the rock bottom isn't that good actually. There's there's uh what was the best one? I can't remember. Oh, the the fucking zombie is the best one. Not even not well, not the zombie. The 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 different AA. Not the one that Night Demons got. There's a different AA, which is better. That's the that's the best one. And it depends what your stats are as well. So like people that are really good wrestlers, if they've got like a running move finisher, and their running move stat is very low then the finisher will be shit, even if it's a good finisher. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Children animals are demons, yeah. <laughs> Oh, glorious stuff. Bringing it home for Andorra. And it worked for, it worked for Volk a few times. It, <laughs> it, <laughs> like, there's been a few times, I haven't said anything afterwards, but there's been a few times, you know, with obviously with it being live for the uh, pay-per-views that I've, I've bumped people up and stuff. It worked, it worked for Gadenik winning his title, but not for retaining. <laughs> <laughs> well, howdy, Nick. Just lost instantly after winning it. Lost it the next night. I was like, man, this is going to be the, the greatest Plim Plum, not Plim Plum, the greatest Wemdor brain of all time. And he just lost the next night. A hello, Moradan. Glorious. Oh shit, that was the big chance, wasn't it? If he just failed that, then the edge is there, and things could have happened, maybe. I mean, still, things might still be able to happen. But it's a lot harder. Why are you in the, What are you doing in there? What are you doing? Ah. Right. 
Question is, how much do we try and go for the win, isn't it? I guess. It's got to be doable. Has to be doable, doesn't it? 11 plays 11. He's got a, a block scanner on the bench. Massive, terrible mistake. What an absolute fool. <laughs> Don't know what. That's from something, and that just made me chuckle. Right, this is a great guy to tag off one on one, isn't it? He's definitely getting tagged off one on one. This guy can blitz him and then stay in front. Which is reasonable. You could also blitz him and tag the ball, but then he just gets blitzed off, but then if you can I think I think hitting him with this guy when it's possible is alright. Pushed him in onto him. What an idiot. What a fool. Yeah, Rick breaking his leg, yeah, that's a pretty good one. I guess this is safer, but this is more worthwhile. I guess oh, okay, just get this to the safer. this guy do? He could dodge. Then he just moves back on him anyway. If he just stays here, he could, he could, he's like a scoring threat, isn't he? And I've only got one reroll, so... You just leave him there as a scoring threat. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, that was insane. I didn't see the request, no. Thank you. I'll have a look. <laughs> I never look I never look in mod view. I don't know, yeah, alright, I was going to read it out, there's no need to read it out, I'm not, I'm not Amaranth. Yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> That's the decision. Yep. Wasn't trying to be a dick. Yeah, he wasn't. I just, I just fucking, I just, you know. Sometimes I just ban people because I like fucking. I'm not feeling very well. I did ban you for saying that. Yeah, sometimes, but you know. I, I said that to somebody, not Elliot, but who's banned me several times. But I said it to somebody like, you know, if someone pisses you off or whatever, just ban them. It's it's not worth like, you know, thinking about it. Just fucking ban people because it's just not it's just not worth you getting pissed off or whatever. Just fucking ban them. And then it's fine. Isn't it? In Ari, in Ari, and Elliot's been on a bit of a banning spree lately. As old Elliot, 
But it, 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 funny enough, it wasn't Elliot. But there was somebody who said something, and I said, "Just fucking ban people," because it, it works for me. When I'm pissed off, if I just fucking ban people. Help me, in my humble opinion, one of the best yeah, commentators that I've band. ever heard in my life. Yeah, this is probably worth, isn't it, tagging him off one on one? I think I want to blitz this guy, but if I. And I've got to reroll it, probably. <laughs> Hello, good to Somnia. Yep, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Never yeah. <laughs> time at the backstage came. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've banned a lot of people for like almost no reason. But, you know, it's just really not worth being miserable, is it? And then I've unbanned, I've unbanned a lot of them very quickly. <laughs> but still, no regrets. No regrets. No, I think it's just not worth like getting fucking upset or anything. Just fucking ban people and move on. It's out of my hands. I really just want to like. I really just want to like. Uh, I really just wanted like an Elliot's stream to just like go. Like I can't do it now. But I was gonna be like, well, it's out of your hands now and stuff, and then like. And you know, just things like that, and just like keep doing it, like uh, like fucking thing he did, you know. Uh, you know, what's he called? Wes Welker, <laughs> good little foot soldiers and all that. <laughs> I, I, wanted to, I wanted to do that on Elliot's stream and I thought, oh, I can't do it now. I just can't do it, can I? But I thought it would be fucking funny. Fucking Welker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Muradam, yeah. <laughs> just could just claw him, but it's hard because there's two assists, isn't there? Could blitz him and chain him to there, and then he could block him and then go on the corner. That's, like, not that exciting. It's also hard to hit from there. No, no, it's not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably better just to try and do this, but it needs two assists, doesn't it? Which, to be fair, I want them in any way. We have salsa. Pushing him there makes it harder to cancel that assist, doesn't it? That was the idea. Fuck you, you motherfucking cunt. Got the one real. 
I'm just gonna stay there. I mean, I've just gotta stay with everybody. So that's there. Why didn't I 2D the ball, you dickhead? I couldn't 2D the ball, you dickhead. That's one way to me, you dickhead. <laughs> No, I didn't. What are you talking about? You lunatic. No, there wasn't. I totally wrong. Like, you're literally totally wrong. It's right there, Dimmy. There's a dude here and a dude here. So if I push him... There's still a screen. <laughs> you just absolutely, clearly, unequivocally wrong, Dimmy. Hello, train. <laughs> oh, dear. Dimmy being an idiot. <laughs> no <laughs> no offence, Dimmy. You're a lovely fella. I started earlier and unfortunately got competent European opponents. <laughs> it's the worst, isn't it, getting competent opponents? <laughs> Nothing worse. Nothing worse than people who know what Blood Bowl is. <laughs> it's much better. Spiders won CCL. I was, I was going to try and think of some insult for Spider, and then I just can't because he's won CCL. <laughs> but uh, his performance in in Blood Bowl three Discord today was incredible. Oh, well, that was nice, wasn't it? Okay, we might get a hit on the ball now, Dimmy. Now we might get a hit on the ball. Check this out, guys. Look at this. We can hit the ball here, guys. Look at this here. You won't see this any other channel on Twitch. Look at this, guys. We hit this guy here. Now you might not see it. This is really, this is really clever. <laughs> not even. It's not even vaguely like jumper anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Total blood ball. <laughs> Nor does he say total blood ball, but he's Dutch, isn't he? <laughs> oh, fuck you, you bastard! <laughs> Wait a minute, now, now I'm flicky. Oh, if I hadn't followed, I could have gone in and stood there. Oh, if this is a push, it's rubbish. Do I 1D him, and then push him, and then hit him? Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Because if this is a push, it's just, it's a disaster. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Easy as you like. This guy's two dice on the ball, guys. Don't see this anywhere else. <laughs> that wasn't a two plus dodge to assist. Right, boom, lob it. He can't reach. He can double GFI. So I guess I've got a GFI once out of range here. Yeah. 
Is he fuck? I just, I just fall. What do you think I am? <laughs> we don't need Edge 4, just GFI. Gosh. Look at that. Easy as you like. <laughs> Fucking Edge 4, what, what would I need that for? Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious, like a mongoose, though. and I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. For China, for China, for China. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> oh dear me! Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes lucky. That was pretty ridiculous, wasn't it? But you know. Sometimes lucky. Oh wow, Tony! I just heard the for China for China for China and just thought somebody was being a dickhead, but actually the opposite of a dickhead. Thank you very much, Tony, for staying fantastic for fifty-eight glorious months. Nearly glorious five years. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious, oh, man, and I will defend. I will defend. I'm fail a one in nine. No! Yes! No, he's gonna reroll. Shit! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! What a griefer! <laughs> Trying to stop this guy. <laughs> Yeah, that's the draw, guaranteed now, isn't it? That's why I, 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 I want to do two GFIs, but I couldn't let him just hit me, could I? So I had to do the one GFI. Yeah, there's nothing else to do. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, he gets the Kaz as well on the way. <laughs> He gets the Kaz, he gets the Kaz for the level and then scores. <laughs> wow. Wow. God, oh, so yeah! Oh, so God. Good. I love the ball. Oh. Feels good to be Rick for 30 seconds, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy fantastic shit at this game. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. I've been Rick for 30 seconds in like two separate games this season. It's been great. Like, they've been the highlights. Fuck <laughs> off, Jimmy. <laughs> it's been the highlight just rolling some dice. But Chaos can do that, can't they? To be fair, like, that is, that is the thing about Chaos. They can do those things, whereas Nurgle, unfortunately... Just can't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, Skuru. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in. <laughs> Until I'm victorious, and I will defend. Oh wow, glory. I will defend. <laughs> it's Claw Mighty Blow, Nure, obviously. You know, it's the only thing you need. People think glorious. that you have to have passing skills. No, I Just won't go Claw Mighty. In. Until I'm victorious, and I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Frosty, thank you very much. And there was someone else who I missed as well, didn't that? HTK, thank you very much for gifting the sub and Frosty for gifting two. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely glorious. Glorious hard work, hard fun. Cheers, guys. Plim plum plu la la. Amazing. Plu la la. Plim plum plu la la. <laughs> exactly, Red Hat. You see, people with claw make the best throwers, right? And and that's what led that's what led to uh, Eliod's mistake about uh, 
Hey, come on. <laughs> easy, easy mistake to make, you know. Claw, claw is a passing skill. <laughs> Gloria. No, I won't give in. I can say on my stream. I'll say on my stream. I just I won't antagonize him while he's I while will he's <laughs> Oh, Moridan, thank you so much. Absolutely. Glorious. Wow, I can't even believe that. That was a win. Ridiculous, like absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and another beast man. Wow. Wow, what a game. 36 to 53, got smashed. Smashed positionally, but got three Kaz with Claw Mai. Loads of SPP. <laughs> Mine was 71, his was only 59. 17 dodges, totally normal chaos game. 27, no, no, that's, okay, that was, that was both teams. So 11 out of 12 GFIs and 14 dodges. So to be fair, he made three dodges, but yeah, 14 dodges and 12 GFIs. Incredible GFIs as well, to be fair. And then the pass and the catch. And Stupid, isn't it? 22, 24, 29, good block dice again. Absolute dice, and that's how you do it, folks. If you get a competent opponent like Poopock, make sure you dice the absolute pants off them. Hmm, a double. So, like, I guess there's only really jump up. And I guess I'm not going to be that greedy. Even I'm not going to be that greedy. Uh, it's probably going to be guard. I think just take guard on these to have some actual guard. Mm. Yeah, I think it's claw, like, I don't think. Obviously, if this guy rolls a double, he's getting dodged. But he's not allowed to touch the ball. The, the ball handling has to be done exclusively by uh, star players and <laughs> and claw players. <laughs> right. So three claw mighties. And then a couple of guards. A couple of guards. There's just like no block. No block on the team. One block on the team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's flipping go. Now there's no need for more more mighty blow. Yeah, it, ball carrier would get dodge, would movement and dodge and everything. Block it does, yeah, Tony, it does. It does. Absolute banger, HDK, you know it. Um, I mean, block's fine. It's safe, isn't it? It's safe. But guard does let you do things against the, uh, the like, heavier teams like, like, Kemri and stuff. But, um, there you go, 710. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.